Well, I honestly think that every you know moment time comes, every idea's time just arrives, and I think this is the time for Arias. Uh, it obviously had a lot of work that went behind it, so we've spent almost two years on the formulations, um, putting together the right ingredients, understanding the kind of skin that we wanted to address, and uh, worked with dermatologists in India, across the globe. Uh, a lot of the ingredients that you'll see in the products, um, a lot of them are from India, but then other things are also brought in. So it's, you know, it's making sure you get the best quality of skincare that your buck can buy. I definitely think so. You know, so for me, I've spent almost 25 years in the beauty industry and I've used obviously products from around the world. But I find that, you know, buying a cream for me from a company that's a Scandinavian company or a European company or a French company, I mean, obviously the creams are amazing and they're amazing results. But our skin types are completely different. The things that are causing our skin to age as we get older are different reasons, you know. So for us, climatic conditions in this part of the world, you know, uh, rising pollution levels, you know, all of that is, is um, points that need to be addressed. So to find or to have a comprehensive skincare that you can use every single day, that's gentle enough, that you can incorporate it into your daily routine. And at the same time, it's not going to bust your bank, you know, because a lot of the times I find women go out and buy that one jar of really expensive cream and then they hang on to it for two years, you know, so it's used very sparingly. And I think as a woman that you sh shouldn't need to compromise on looking after your skin. So so the idea is to make a line that is absolutely affordable even for middle class women that you know you're not thinking twice before looking after yourself. I think for me true beauty is being able to celebrate yourself every single day to look in the mirror and say it doesn't matter if I'm fat, thin, dark, fair, old, young, I'm just so happy and contented and proud of who I am. When you're affordable you don't want to compromise on what it is that you're putting in your product you know so to make sure that you're being able to source uh, you know all the ingredients that go into the formulations to be able to source them ethically so we're cruelty free we're vegetarian the products are we're paraben free sulfate free you know so to just make sure that you're not harming your skin it's gentle um, and at the same time to make it sustainable so you'll see a lot of the products they have neem in it they've got matcha tea you know so making sure that we're able to source ingredients that are also in many ways um, originate out of India but at the same time I didn't want to be an Ayurvedic you know brand I don't want to be just I want to be something that shows results okay. so you need if you're going to be using a skincare product every single day you want to see a difference if it's not showing any difference to your skin it doesn't make you know, there's no point in using you used it, it on yourself so I have I've been pig? my biggest <laughs> guinea pig and over two years so I, I know exactly what works and what doesn't To be very honest, I'm not against anybody. Yeah. Exactly, I'm absolutely not. And I'm the last person who says, oh, I don't think somebody should, you know, do. I think for every woman, you want to be the best version of yourself. And so if you want to go out and whether it's coloring your hair to, you know, injecting something into your face, it's absolutely up to you. And it's a personal choice that you make. I mean, I'm in my 40s today. And to be very honest, and I say this very proudly, I have, except for giving birth to my daughter, I've had nothing else that I've gone under the knife. Oh, it is stressful. It's very stressful, and especially now that we live in this whole paparazzi culture, where you know, now of course, and then you're packed, you know, going in for uh, going into the dentist, you know, you're just so exactly, and so now there's that pressure, especially with social media, to constantly be on the top of your game, you know, and I've never ever allowed myself to play into that. I just, I, I'm not that kind of person, and I think I would be a rather miserable person if I was constantly playing to the gallery.